to be very vague in my details here, but one time in school, I won't mention the school or the grade, a classmate, I won't mention male or female, said to me, Kevin, can you keep a secret? And I said, I think. And so classmate told me a secret. I, to this day, have never told that secret. I haven't told a single person. And I will admit that this was a couple decades ago, so you can assume what level of school I was in, but I've never told it. Because contrary to what some of my friends and family might tell you, I think I'm pretty good at keeping secrets. But you know who's not good at keeping secrets, in my humble opinion? God. In our responsorial psalm today, the Lord has made known his salvation. God does not want to keep hidden from us the secret of salvation, which is to follow his son, which is to come to know Jesus, which is to obey, to listen to Jesus. God does not want to keep hidden from the world that he sent his only begotten son to die on a cross, to give his flesh and blood for the life of the world in the sacrament of the Eucharist. God does not want that hidden from the world. And so for us as the church, that becomes our missionary impulse to go out and make known the Lord's salvation, to be his lips, to be his hands, to be his feet, to be his eyes, to be his heart to the world. A couple of friends of mine spent six years down in Haiti after the earthquake doing missionary work. And when they came back to the States, they settled in Georgia, and they now operate a nonprofit company called Missionary Impulse. Because Pope Francis said it would be his desire that all Catholics have this impulse from their heart to go out and to speak the gospel. And we see Jesus saying that to Simon Peter in today's gospel. The two gospel metaphors, one of shepherding and one of fishing, means something. The metaphor of shepherding is for those Christian communities that already know Jesus, that already have been preached to, that need sustenance. So that's those of us who are in the church, who go to Mass, hopefully weekly, but maybe even daily. And then the metaphor of fishing is for those who do not know Jesus, those who do not know his church. We can think of so many in our world that don't know Jesus. They think his name is something that you say when you stub your toe and they insert an F for his middle name. As we prayed in the opening prayer, Lord, deepen our sense of reverence and nurture in us what is good and keep safe what you have nurtured. And he does. He keeps us safe every time we receive his body and blood. The secret prayer that the priest prays before communion. Corpus Christi custodiat me in vitam eternum. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Today, we ask the Lord for the grace to recognize who he's calling us to missionary. Where is he calling us to be missionary? Just last week, I was on my annual retreat. And when I came off of retreat and turned my phone back on, and had you know, all the text messages flooding, all the emails, all the notifications, etc. I was on social media and it, it just baffled me that there are people out there who have no understanding of the Christian life, of the culture of Christianity, of what it means to withdraw from the world and be silent with God for a few days. Those are the people I'm called to evangelize. Those are the people we are called to evangelize. And those that are here, those are the ones we are called, as priests particularly, to shepherd, to nurture with the gifts that God has given us. Come, follow me, says the Lord, and he will make us fishers of men.